You've talked about the, no the number of galaxies. Does any of this ever make you feel insignificant? Yeah, I mean, so um, I say sometimes in my live shows, there's only, it's kind of a joke, right? So I'm not insulting philosophers here, but I say there's only one interesting question in philosophy. <laughs> Right. And I don't really mean it, but I think it sounds funny. Um, so uh, the interesting question is, what does it mean to live a finite, fragile life in an infinite, eternal universe? So that's not that funny, right? It's a good question. <laughs> what does it mean to live a finite, fragile life in an infinite, eternal universe? And um, I think the answer is that, so sort of paradoxically, whilst we are definitely physically insignificant, I've just said, you know, that the Earth is one star around one, that the Earth is one planet around one star amongst 400 billion stars in one galaxy amongst two trillion galaxies in a small patch of the universe, right? So we're definitely small, and you can't argue with that, we're just specks of dust. But if you think about what we are, so everybody, me and you, everybody, we're, we're just collections of atoms, right? Some of them are as old as time, pretty much, and some of them were the other ones, everything else other than the hydrogen in our bodies was made in stars, right? So, so we, we're all cooked over billions of years. And we're in this pattern that can think. So suddenly, as the great Carl Sagan said, you have a means by which the universe understands and explores itself, which is us, 